On this episode of June is Wired, we take you behind the scenes of Grassfield High School. Santa joins the Anchor Club and Dahlia as they travel to Grassfield Elementary to help serve breakfast for the community. We take a look at Junior ROTC and see their dedication, hard work, and discipline. The learning doesn't stop there as we take a look into the hard work of 2017's Teacher of the Year and the impact she has on her students. You'll see all this and more on our second episode of our fifth season of Genius Wired. Hey Grizzlies, and welcome to your second episode of the fifth season of Genius Wired. I'm Haley Steinling. And I'm Laura Moss, coming to you from the Genius Studio in Chesapeake, Virginia. This show was written and produced by Grassfield Photojournalism students. The holidays are always a time of giving. Here's a look at just one of the ways that the Grizzlies are doing just that this season. Right before Thanksgiving break, Grassfield High School paired up with the American Red Cross Association for a blood drive. A lot of our account managers go out and, you know, try to find blood drives and Grassfield was one of the very willing participants to come out and, you know, say that we could come and help draw blood and help save lives. But in order to be successful, they needed volunteers and donors. I have coordinated with my volunteer coordinator and she sent out an email to try to get people to come in and I helped as well. We just had to try and get 100 people in and I think they donate like one or two pints, I think one pint of blood each. Those individual donations quickly added up to a total of 100 pints of blood. Each donor had a unique reason to give back to the community. What inspired me was that I'm just really passionate about helping people and this was just a great way to help them because people need blood and so helping with the blood drive just really was nice. My granddad, he had a blood disease, so that's why I try to do, donate as much as I could. I know that I'm fortunate to have good blood, and if there are people out there that could use help, I'm there to help. With the help of the blood drop participants, 300 lives can be saved. This has been Jasmine Gilliam with photographer Hannah Jones reporting for G News. Grassfield students also spread holiday cheer at a local elementary school. Here's Alex Tatum with the story. Early December, Grassdale Elementary held a breakfast of Santa for its students. Throughout the morning, they served breakfast, held many activities, and had carols fun for all ages. The December 10th event got the community involved with volunteers from Grassfield High School. The morning started for the kids with a breakfast put together by Grassfield High's Key Club. The pancakes and sausage breakfast was included in the $5 ticket price. Throughout the morning, Dahlia Tri High Y helped the kids make Christmas crafts. I'm helping with making candy cane reindeers. So pick a certain flavor of candy cane, then you put a brown pipe cleaner antlers on it with googly eyes and a red nose. <laughs> I made the Rudolph. <laughs> but what's Rudolph without Santa? Despite the long lines, the kids were excited to meet St. Nick. Wrapping up the morning, Grassfield Elementary students sang Christmas carols for their guests. practice the songs after school every Wednesday. We started going over the songs in October. We pretty much finished learning the songs into a little bit of November, then we just reviewed the songs. We sang Winter Wonderland, Frosty the Snowman, Rules for Christmas, and Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, and Get the Halls. Reporting for G News, I'm Alex Tatum with photographer Megan Hood. But the holidays aren't just for kids. That's right. Even the young at heart share their spirit with some random acts of kindness. Just before winter break, the Student Council Association came up with an idea to spread holiday cheer and kindness. Yeah, the acts of kindness tree is kind of, it's just a bunch of different acts of kindness that people can do um, to their teachers, to their friends, to random people. Um, and it's basically just to get everybody in a good mood before um, winter break. One student stood out after completing 13 acts of kindness. When I first heard about the acts of kindness project, I thought it was uh, a novel idea. I thought it would be a good way to um, just share the holiday spirit throughout the Grassville community. As I started to do more and more, it, it just got easier and it was actually a lot of fun. Grassfield students were able to interact and share their participation by posting under the hashtag GrizzliesCare. 
So a lot of SDA members, um, we just made a couple of posts to show others what to do and examples. But we also do real acts of kindness, and so we've just done what everybody else has been doing. There were many acts of kindness on the tree. On the tree, I saw thank a teacher, hug an administrator or a janitor, tell someone they look nice, say hi to someone new. Students who participated had the chance to win a free Chick-fil-A biscuit or home tickets to a basketball game. I'm reporter Victoria Mulmer with photographer Isabel Kaufman from G News Wire. Hey Haley, what do you think it takes to be an ROTC? Does it take discipline? It takes a lot more than that. Reporter Isabel Cologne traveled with the group to find out. The Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, commonly known as JRTC, is a program here at Grassfield that teaches discipline and respect for all. It's been pretty interesting. It's not like the other classes. I joined it because I've always wanted to be like military guy, that's me. But that's not why most people join this program, surprisingly. Like there's people who join one kid said he want needs some discipline in his life. Some parents made him. Some just wanted a little taste of the military experience. It's all different. So we get a good students in an ROTC. It's an elective. So, you know, the people that are in here, for the most part, vast majority, want to be here. Uh, it's always fun to teach those that want to be in the class. From weekly uniform checks to drill competitions, the JROTC students get a slight taste of the military experience. So I'm on the basic drill team. And there's, so how, this, how it works is, there are three drill teams that you can be on. There's basic drill, there's riflery, armed, and then there's unarmed. JRTC won first place in the district drill competition, which was held at Western Branch High School on December 10th, 2016. We try to expose them to as much military training education as we possibly can. Our mission is uh, to develop citizens of character dedicated to serving their nation and community. So we're trying to produce better citizens. It's like a learning experience. Like you, you get to learn a lot of stuff. Like I would never thought I would learn half the stuff that I've learned when I went in. And it's just a really good program. For G News Wired, I'm reporter Isabel Colon. The JROTC represents Grassfield well in all they do. So does the current Teacher of the Year, Miss Alicia White. Behind the store is Grassfield 2016 to 2017 Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Alicia White. The 10-year veteran at Grassfield, Mrs. White, shows her hard work through sponsoring SCA and being the student's activity coordinator. She also used to be a soccer and a JV field hockey coach. I did know that I wanted to be a teacher. I wasn't sure exactly what subject area I wanted to do, and then I just fell in love with math, so it fell from there. That love helps her students succeed when dealing with difficult situations in class. She really helps me personally to make sure that I understand the material well and I can, I can present it on tests and quizzes. I feel like I have a duty to be a better teacher to represent Grassfield at the city level. Not that I would not have put in um, extra work, but I just feel like I want to represent Grassfield at the, the best that I can. I did not expect to become Teacher of the Year. I feel, I'm very humbled by it to know that my colleagues nominated me and want me to represent the school this year. I feel that Ms. White uh, genuinely enjoys what she does, so when she teaches, she's really happy about it. I think Ms. White deserves to be the Teacher of the Year because she is a big part of this Grizzly community and she takes part in the SCA. Um, She's a huge leader in the lives of in these kids in high school. Outside With to photographer stop. Tiana Neville, I'm reporter Lisa Clark reporting for G News Wired. Congratulations, Miss White, who is now a finalist for the District Teacher of the Year. It takes hard work of all of our teachers to help get students to their senior year, but once there, it is time to celebrate. With only five months left of their senior year, the class of 2017 attended their senior banquet. On Saturday, December 3rd, seniors checked in and headed to the cafeteria for a catered dinner from Tapping. Angel. The menu that included barbecue, pasta, and assorted desserts fed the 184 students in attendance. Another highlight of the evening was taking photos in the photo booth for keepsake memories.
After getting their mementos, the seniors gathered in the auditorium for a slideshow and for the recognition of senior superlative winners. If I was to win a senior superlative, it would be like most likely to win the lottery and lose the ticket because I'm so forgetful and I honestly think I'll be too excited but when winning that I'll forget the ticket at home and then I'll go home and I'll lose it. Like I did today with my ticket. I lost it. The most anticipated event of the evening was saved for last. I'm reporter Tamaya Smith with photographer Andrew Bell. Thanks to reporter Tamaya Smith and photographer Angel Bell for that coverage. After coming off of a VHSL state championship last year, the theater company, under the direction of Miss Laura Agadello, presented their fall play. On December 8th, the curtains opened for Grassville High School's theater production of Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Opinion of my wife and Martha Corey and Rebecca Nurse. Our scene is secret Halloween is that your wife will hang. The Crucible is a fictionalized account of the Salem witch trials that happened during, uh, from 1692 to 1693. Uh, and it tells the story of John Proctor, his wife Elizabeth Proctor, and a young woman named Abigail Williams who um, condemns Elizabeth for uh, witchcraft, uh, in essence, to uh, win John Proctor to marry John Proctor and, and take him on as her husband. What I enjoyed most about uh, producing The Crucible this year was definitely the group of students that I was able to work with. I have a cast of uh, 26 uh, and a crew of 17 and everyone really came together and uh, helped to tell the story of The Crucible. For the cast, that storytelling process began in October and included lighting and set design. The set, and that was easy because we just made it simple because that's what Arthur Miller, the author of The Crucible, wanted because it's about the story. It's about the words. So there was no need for anything extraneous. It's just simple set to tell a powerful story. You must have no fear to tell us who they are. Do you understand me? I'm Maddie Johnson with photographer Tate Menemeyer reporting for Genius Wired. Head over to our YouTube channel if you've liked even more Genius coverage. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Genius Wired. I'm Haley. And I'm Lauren. See you soon, Grizzlies.